Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, so today, I'm just... It's nice out. It's right around 70 today. And I'm just taking the car out uh, for a couple of reasons. One, just to go for a drive. And then two, um, in my rear passenger tire, right here, I'm getting like a squeal. Like, it's a, it's a non-consistent squeal. It's off and on. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. Sometimes... It'll be consistent, but like I said, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. And I think it's possibly one of two things. One of which someone pointed out to me uh, a few days back that I could possibly have a bent axle. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case. I don't think that's the case, but it is a possibility. Um, the other option is the uh, brake caliper, I'm sorry, the brake rotor itself. Um, I think it's possibly the brake rotors. I'm hoping that's what it is. I wanted to just take it out for a drive and uh, see if it'll still make the same type of squealing. And then uh, if anyone here is watching has had that same issue, maybe you guys can help me get a better idea on what the situation is before I dig deep in the car and take off the tire and jack it up and possibly have to re replace an axle. I'm hoping I don't have to go down that route. So uh, we're gonna pull up the car, take it for a drive, see if that sound will come back, and also just take it on some back roads. It's, it's a nice afternoon. So. Secondly, real quick, Avalon King ceramic coating, the Armor Shield 9. Uh, I'm giving away two of these. I'm giving away each box. Each box has a bottle of ceramic coating and the applicator pad. Uh, bo the bottle covers the entire car. I have the Avalon King here on this car. It can last up to three years. I'm gonna give away a bottle of these to two of my subscribers. Uh, just simply subscribe. As soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, I will randomly pick two of my subscribers and you'll each get a bottle. Uh, just hit subscribe. That's all you gotta do. so I could talk to you real quick. So, as I'm now driving it, and I was talking how it was making like a squealing, like an off and on squeal, like it sounded like it was coming from the rear caliper. Well, I just started driving it, but as of now, it's not making any squealing sounds or squeaking at all whatsoever. So, that's why I'm thinking maybe it's not the bent axle and Correct me if I'm wrong, I've never had an issue with a car before that had a bent axle, but especially in like a car like this. If you have a bent axle and it's making that squeaking sound, isn't it more consistent? And two, do you usually have like a vibration? It would make sense you would have a vibration in a situation like that. I'm not experiencing a vibration at all whatsoever. The car drives smooth. If you've never driven this car like now and you hopped in it, um, for one, it's not squealing. Two, it's not vibrating. I mean, it's it's bouncy just because it's a lowered car and the springs and such, but it's not an abnormal vibration that shouldn't be happening. So, is it still possibly a, a bent axle? I'm gonna go take it here on some back roads. I'm gonna um, get away from traffic here a little bit and uh, take it on some back roads. I don't wanna completely open this thing up. Um, <laughs> Just in case it is a bent axle and it does have issues, I don't want to uh, potentially make it worse or have other issues. So um, let me know what you guys think. If you can just drop a comment, uh, would I be experiencing more of a consistent vibration and or squeal all the time? So let's see if I at least get the squeal again. Um, and I guess we'll go from there and dive further into it. Okay, so 
So I've been driving the car now for probably 10 or 15 or so, and I still haven't experienced or heard any of the squealing or squeaking sound, um, which is kind of funny because my luck every time I'm trying to di uh, diagnose the sound um, and try to figure out where a particular noise is coming from, um, more often than not it decides that it doesn't want to make the noise I'm trying to find. Um, I don't know if any of you have experienced that same kind of issue, but if you're trying to find a particular sound on a car, like you think something might be wrong and then you try to pinpoint that problem, um, it gets quiet. And then when you're not looking for it again, um, it decides to make the noise again. Uh, just my luck. So, um, not that I want to have the sound come again. If it goes away permanently, that's honestly what I would prefer. But I was hoping that uh, I could have the sound come up again so you guys could hear it and maybe help me uh, diagnose but hopefully what my issue could be. Like I said, I think it's one of two issues, um, one being cheaper than the other. So, uh, I don't know, we'll just keep driving. I'll take this here on some back roads here and uh, we'll just see if it happens. And if it doesn't happen, then it, you know, it doesn't happen. So, slow down a little bit because we're going through a residential area. Um, usually, when I slow down, sometimes it makes the squealing, squeaking sound at slower speeds. Um, now it's not doing anything still, so I don't know what's going on with that, so. Just weird how sometimes it'll be consistent the entire time I'm driving the car that day, and then other times, like now, uh, it's not doing shit, so that's why I don't know what's going on, so. That's why I don't think it's potentially any issues with the axle or the rear end, for that matter. That's why I think it potentially could be a warped rotor. Um, that's why I think it could be something like that, so we'll see.
couple miles down the road and I'm here in the middle of nowhere in the country. I love it. But uh, yeah, still haven't experienced any of the squeaking, which honestly is fine. I prefer it not squeaking. It's just, man, this road is bumpier than hell. Jesus. Um, like I said, I was just hoping like something would happen so you guys could hear it and like, oh, it could be this, it could be that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I pulled up here on the side of the road here at a gas station. Sorry about the wind, it's kind of, it's windy out, but I um, just wanted to point this out to you guys. Uh, so a while back when I did my video and I went back to the uh, dyno at HPP, uh, we found out that this little piece right here, you can see right there, was actually uh, making contact here on the rotor, and when we pulled that back a little bit, um, the squealing stopped. I had to get back in the car because the wind was kind of affecting with the audio, but uh, yeah, so that piece was making contact on the rotor, and when we adjusted that, the squealing went away. So that's why I originally thought that maybe it was that, and then I had other people um, comment and tell me that I possibly had a bent axle. So, uh, but I'm not experiencing any of the vibration that would come with that. Um, and like I said, it's sporadic. It's off and on, it's not all the time. Clearly, this entire drive out here for almost an hour, perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. So uh, my luck, as soon as I am close this out and I head home, you know, it'll probably start squealing again, and that's just my luck. But. Uh, nothing so uh, next video I make if for any reason if it starts squealing again I'll point it out and then hopefully we can uh, pinpoint the issue I just didn't want to have to pull stuff apart replace parts I don't have to uh, if it's not necessary so but uh, anyway that's gonna about conclude and wrap it up um, if you guys are watching this not subscribe hit subscribe like and comment and uh, we will catch you guys in the next video see ya